All right, what's up everyone? Pixelodeon here. Today I'm gonna be doing a video that I actually did just about a year ago. Um, I did a video on the KD6 Nike ID. Got a fair amount of views. I think it might be one of my most viewed videos. Pretty happy about that. Thanks for the support, guys. But uh, today I'm gonna be doing basically the same video, just on the KD7, which has just been released for Nike ID today. So uh, let's get into it. So right when you start, you see KD7 Nike ID, basketball shoe, $195. I believe last year it was 180 and if you guys have been, you know, with sneakers for a few years now, you know that the KD4 was only $95 for retail, and it was like that great affordable shoe, and that's why I think it was so popular, because it was so affordable, even though the resale price was a bit ridiculous. But at the time, you know, it was that affordable shoe that worked well and it was nice. But now it's getting out of hand. I don't even know the retail for like a regular KD7, but the Nike ID is 195 so that's pretty expensive. I don't think I'll be buying it. And here's the shoe right here. This is all white and black. Um, the black speckle. Uh, the shoe's alright. It's, I think the KD7 was pretty nice. Once you had, once you found the right colorway, I like that they brought the strap back. I really think that's a nice uh, touch. But I'm not sure casually. I think performance-wise, I think this shoe will work really good. It looks like it has the materials that it needs. But uh, you know, casually, it. I think it. I think the elite version, whenever that comes out next year, probably. I think I'll probably, you know, make it a little better looking. But for now, it doesn't look too bad. I'm glad that it's a low top. So yeah. But let's get into the uh, you know colorway options and stuff. We had we have solid. So so you could have the solid uh, quarter, or the upper, really, or you can have fireworks, which actually looks really cool. So different colors for your brand. Oh, so for the fireworks one, you get two color options, which is good. But, uh, so solid as you can see is these colors, you know, it's, I think it's all just about the same colors as last year. I don't think there's anything new. And the fireworks, which is cool because, uh, you know, right out the gate they're having more details onto the quarter part. So that's cool. Instead of just having solid, you know, you can have some cool colors in there. So yeah, I really like that. Um, let's go next to the upper. So this part is the upper. It looks like it's like a mesh upper. Oops. So yeah. And, you know, generic colors. Strap. Oh, so here is the glow in the dark. Here's Volt. So the actual color of the strap will be Volt, and then it glows in the dark. Or you can get the the white one. This is a white strap, but it will glow in the dark. So that's cool. And as you can see here, you can see it without or with it. So that's what it would look like if it wasn't glowing in the dark. And the same with that one. So that actually looks really nice. And uh, I don't, it doesn't say here that the uh, glow in the dark is extra, so that's cool. Uh, the swoosh, I guess. Oh, it comes. That's actually really cool. It's got like a uh, print on it, as you can see. It's kind of like uh, the meteorology, if you guys remember that. And there's uh, a few more colors for this part for the swoosh, there's a few more colors, so that's pretty cool, uh, let's go for the white, can't really see the thing, but, the, the KD6 hat, the meteorology had like that same kind of texture, it's like wavy, I don't really know how to call it, to call it, but yeah, okay, and the medial swoosh, I'm guessing that's the one right there, as you can see, uh, let's make it pink, so, dynamic fly, ooh, metallic gold. Um, as you can see, going dark, yeah, might as well go It's pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Lining. Place. Metallic gold. I like the metallic gold option. I don't really have to have that. It seems like, uh, when mm, you can see how this part's gray and this part's gray and they kind of meet with a gradient white right there and this the same one and if you look here on the shoe if you actually look at the laces you can see that little 
it's like the little stitching, which is, you know, a nice detail. And I don't think it's extra, so you know why not. Uh, midsole, with gray, and you can have the paint speckles. Some nice speckles. Uh, airbag, not too many options for the airbag. Multi. This? Ooh, this is nice. Oh, I really like that. That's actually cool. You don't see this on a lot of shoes. That's actually really neat. Usually it's just these three. It's usually the XDR, the translucent, and the solid. But they have multi. And the, I like. The, I really like the, how the outsole looks. It's kind of like I don't really, really. I'm not really you know techy about my shoes. I I usually buy shoes for casual wear. But it really, really looks nice. Short ID, so that's like the numbers right there. And the long ID is the inside of the tongue. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, you know, that's the shoe right there. There's a lot of different color options. I really like it. I'll have a video coming up shortly with some Nike ideas on the Nike ID. So uh, yeah, hope you guys stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts on the K87, you know, uh, this is a brand new shoe, do you like it, do you not like it, do you like it better than the K86, make sure you guys comment below, like the video, and subscribe, I will see you later, Kixelodeon out.